Hey friends, as you can see, this jaw does not belong to any ordinary shark, but to the biggest predator that ever swam in the oceans. That is, none other than the Megalodon that went extinct ages ago. So, in today's episode, let us bring them back and explore a jaw-dropping question. What if Megalodon sharks never went extinct? Zoom in! Sharks have always captured our imagination due to their dominating nature, sheer power and enormous size. Even a thought of them lurking under the sea is enough to send a shiver down the spine. But what if I tell you these current versions of sharks are nowhere near their ancestral cousin known as the Megalodon, which simply means large tooth. Yes, with around 18 centimeters long teeth and body size three times longer than the great white sharks, these creatures were the largest predators ever to swim under the sea. And if you are that big, you need to eat a lot of food. So, Megalodon's menu generally included dolphins, other sharks and even humpback whales. For millions of years, the Megalodon had no match and ruled the oceans. But with time, they completely went extinct 3.6 million years ago. And scientists aren't exactly sure why. Some theories suggest that the Megalodons were not able to adapt to the changing cooling temperature and perish due to it while other theory estimates that it went extinct due to decreasing food sources and increasing competition for that food. No matter the reasons behind their extinction, the stories of Megalodon sightings have emerged time after time as some people claim that these giant sharks never went extinct and lurk under the deepest ocean. Well, unfortunately, that's not true at all, as in that case, we would have found at least one skeleton by now, or we could have at least seen their giant bite marks on other marine species. But we haven't found any evidence to confirm their presence apart from prehistoric teeth that explain their past. But for the sake of this video, let us see what would have happened if the Megalodon never went extinct? Well, in that case, swimming in the ocean and around the beach would have been dangerous. Yes, it is estimated that Megalodons ate around 1,100 kg of food each day. So, to fulfill their daily portion, these giant creatures are more likely to attack humans entering their territory. And once you are within the target range, its jaw would span 2.7 by 3.4 meters wide, easily big enough to swallow two adult people side by side. And in case humans decide to abandon swimming, then these giants would have fed on other fishes. Then there'd hardly be enough fish left in the ocean for us. And as we know, the ocean temperature is warming up again. So this climate would have been an ideal environment for megalodons to thrive and reproduce, resulting in increasing their population. And in no time, they would be ruling the oceans once again. Trivia time! Did you know female megalodons may have been about twice as large as the males? Even an infant megalodon was huge, at least 6.6 .6 feet from nose to tail. Hope you learned something mega new today.
Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. No, little kitty, I'm not falling for it again. I know it's you. Never mind.